Hello everyone, today we are going to talk about what the five skandhas are. The five skandhas are, form, receptivity, thought, action, and knowledge. As the name suggests, the word embodiment means to contain, to contain. The five aggregates can be simply understood as a Buddhist generalization of the five constituent elements of a human being, and its purpose is to explain the way in which a human being exists and the mechanism by which he or she operates. Specifically, 1. The five aggregates reveal that human beings are not a fixed entity, but a combination of five elements. 2. The five aggregates analyze the phenomena of man's body and mind, showing that both are impermanent and changing and have no fixed self-nature. 3. The five aggregates demonstrate the impermanence and egolessness of the human self, revealing the illusory nature of egoism. 4. Through the five aggregates dharma, we are guided to observe the impermanence and egolessness of the five aggregates, to reduce egoism, and to be free from suffering. 5. The five aggregates also laid the foundation for later Buddhist theories such as Vaisnavism. In short, the five aggregates method aims to analyze the existence of human beings, eliminate egoism, and help all beings realize the truth of egolessness and achieve liberation. This is the Buddha's insight into human nature and his design of the subtle dharma. Let's try to explain the five aggregates in more layman's terms. The form aggregate, which refers to our body, skin, flesh and bones, is our most intuitive form of existence. But it is impermanent and changing, and will eventually perish. Just like a house, today it is luxurious and spectacular, but tomorrow it may be dilapidated. Sufferings are the feelings we experience in the outside world, pleasure, pain, joy, anger and sadness, which are ever-changing and difficult to control. Just like the weather, today it is sunny, tomorrow it may be stormy. Thoughts mean our thoughts, which are scattered in the wind and are difficult to hold. Like a flock of birds gathering and dispersing, it is difficult to stay focused on one point. Acting means that our will and behavior are always influenced by the outside world and are not easily determined and autonomous. It is like a boat in a sea of waves, difficult to sail in the right direction, Knowledge means that our cognitive ability, despite the sound and color, cannot find the eternal self. It is like the eye that can clearly see the picture, but cannot find the eternal self. Using these simple metaphors can deepen the intuitive understanding of the impermanence and egolessness of the five skandhas. You can also use different times of the day to compare the impermanent changes of the five skandhas. Being full of energy in the morning is the form and Tiredness in the middle of the day is the receptivity. In the afternoon, absent-mindedness is thought. In the evening, the emotional ups and downs of the day are the actants. The feeling of observing oneself throughout the day is the sense of awareness. The five skandhas are interlocking and constitute our perception of I. However, this kind of me is actually an illusion, and we are bound by it, making it difficult for us to free ourselves from it. Therefore, we have to see through the illusion of the five aggregates and find true freedom within ourselves in order to be free from suffering. Imagine there is an automobile running, which can be seen as a whole or broken down into different parts. The five systems of the car are interdependent and indispensable, just like the relationship between the five skandhas. The body is the color, the skeleton that supports the entire vehicle. It provides the framework for the entire vehicle, and the other components need to be mounted on top of the body. In the same way, the color is the form of the body, and it is only when it is in the form of the body that it has a dependent existence. The engine is the receptor, which provides power. It provides the energy to drive the car, without which the car cannot run. In the same way, without feelings and experiences, thought, action, and awareness cannot be active. The navigation system is the thought, the direction of travel. It is like a person who needs to think and judge in order to decide how to act. The gas pedal and brakes are the action embodiment, controlling the movement of the vehicle. Receiving instructions to control the vehicle. Just like the human will to carry out the instructions of thinking. 
The steering wheel connects the other components and corresponds to the knowledge embodiment, integrating the systems together. Connecting the other elements and integrating them into one system. The knowledge aggregate integrates the aggregates and contributes to the overall activity. A complete automobile requires these five elements to function properly. Color, receptivity, thought, action and knowledge are like the five systems of a car, one without the other, and together they support the existence and functioning of a living individual. The five skandhas are different but inseparable, and together they drive the existence and functioning of the individual. Without any one of them, the whole cannot work properly. In summary, the five aggregates profoundly reveal the truth of human existence, not a fixed and unchanging entity, but a combination of the five major elements. The impermanent change and selflessness of the five aggregates negate the entity view of human self. The exact purpose of the Buddha's design of the five aggregates is to give us insight into the emptiness of the five aggregates and to break the bondage of egoism. When we see the clouds of the five aggregates dispersing and the rain dissipating, we can let go of our attachment to the delusional self and instead seek the freedom and tranquility of the true self within. The law of the five aggregates not only reveals the essential truth of life, but also lays the foundation for the important theories of later Mahayana Buddhism. It is by relying on the realization of the emptiness of the five aggregates that the insights of the middle way only can be established. Therefore, we should contemplate the five aggregates dharma again and again and deeply realize the supreme wisdom contained therein. This can be said to be the first step on our path to liberation. If we can live the five aggregate dharma and observe our own mind, we will surely be able to reach the nirvana realm which is neither bad nor perishable. Well, that's all we have to talk about today, we'll see you next time.